dark places. Sometimes you will have to go through some things that you just don't want to go through. But the Bible says, but the God of grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, established, and strengthen you. See, the Bible lets us know that there's some things that we're going to have to go through. And there's some things that we're going to have to suffer. Jesus said that we have to suffer as he suffered. He said if the world hated him, that they were going to hate us too. See, right now, if I can give my testimony, me and my wife are going through some things. Uh -huh. Amen. Not with one another, but we're going through together. Yeah. Amen. In the beginning of the year, <clears throat> I got demoted on my job. Crippling me financially. Then after that, I was in a car accident that could have been fatal. God. But God brought me out and then... Now we look at a certain situation where we just don't know what to do. But one thing that I do know is that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above, above all that I could ever ask to think. See, when I think about Jesus and even how he was the son of God and everything that he was able to do, Jesus still had to suffer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when I look back and when I think about Jesus suffering, I know that that does not make me exempt because if my Savior had to suffer then I know that I'll have to suffer too. Amen. But I stand here today to encourage somebody that just because you're going through this storm and just because you're going through this, this hell in your life, God is saying, don't give up now because I called you for this. You have to realize that this is for testimony purposes and miracle purposes only. God is about to turn some things around in your life. I just want to let you know that you can't give up now when you think about a woman and her, and even in her pregnancy, she goes through different stages and when she gets to the final stage, she deals with contractions and she deals with certain things that, that lets her know it indicates that the baby is on the way out. See, one thing we have to realize is that when the baby is closer and closer, when the head drops, then the contractions get closer and closer and the pain becomes greater and greater. So just like with us, the saints, when God is doing something in our lives, sometimes he has to take us through something to burst something out of us. So now here we are, we're going through this great pain and the contractions are getting closer and closer. And it seems like they're just coming back to back, just like our problems. When your problems and your situations start to come back to back to back, it seems like trouble is on every side and you just can't see your way out. That's because God is about to burst something out of you, just like that pregnant woman. So now her contractions are getting closer and closer and she tells the, she tells the doctor, we tell God that we just can't take it no more. And that's when God says, now nah, you got to push. So now you got to push. You got to push through this pain. And you got to push through this hell that you're going through. You got to push through the naysayers. And you got to push through the haters and those who are talking about you. Those who are looking down on you because they see some things that you lost. And you got to push on through it because God is getting ready to burst some things out of you. You got to keep on going because one thing I know that will happen if a woman does not push. Sometimes something bad will happen. Sometimes she will either lose the baby or lose her life. God is saying, it's something I got to get out of you. So I need you to push while you're going through this storm. I need you to push while you're going through this hell, Brother Troy. I think you can't give up now because too much is at stake. You can't give up now because you got some people around you that need to hear a word from you. There's too much at stake. Now you got to keep on going and keep on pushing through your pain. You got to push through your problem. I know the storm is great and the trouble will seem like it's on every side, but God is saying if you just push a little while longer, if you just push a little while, see something, it's something strange because it seems like when you're going through the storm, when you're going through this hardship, it seems like it's going on forever and ever, but once the woman delivers the baby, I hear that the pain goes away instantly. You see, once God brings you out of this, you're not even going to remember the pain because what he's brought you out of, he's brought something new and beautiful into your life. So you got to keep on going. I know you can't give up right now. God, I'm talking to somebody you just can't give up right now. God is saying, don't you stop going and don't you stop pushing. Don't you stop traveling because I'm about to bring you out. I'm about to take you through all this mess just so I can bring you out of this storm. Don't give up now. But you gotta keep on going, keep on going. And I know sometimes you get a little weak. And you feel like, oh, Lord, I can't run no further. Lord, I can't walk no further. So God is saying, get down on your knees. Sometimes you gotta get down on your knees. And you gotta pray to God. Sometimes the strongest position, the strongest right stands, is down on your knees. See, when the enemy comes to you, and you try to fight it for yourself, sometimes it just don't work. So God is saying, get down on your knees. I'm getting ready to 
bring you out. I'm getting ready to make you stronger. I'm getting ready to make you see the light at the end of the tunnel. When this storm is over, you're about to see a rainbow. Because I made a promise to you. He said that I'm going to bless you. Beyond what else can see. He said that I'm going to bring you out of the things that we've been going through. So words that's been prophesied to us. And we have yet to see them come to pass. But God has said after you suffered a while, I'm about to make you perfect. I'm about to establish you. I'm about to strengthen you. So you just can't give up now. You just can't give up now. So I just want you to know that you gotta keep on going. 